Good morning everybody and happy Friday. I've just put all of my washing in a laundrette. That is the first thing I've done in Rotterdam, how exciting. And I'm just in a cafe now with some freshly squeezed orange juice and a bite stick because I absolutely got bitten to death last night and my foot is so itchy. So I've been like smothering it in this stuff. So hopefully it'll feel better later. <laughs> taking his car for a walk. Right, my washing is finished now. <laughs> um, and I was just sitting there with their Wi-Fi and I found this like craft lady that someone recommended to me. And she has a workshop that starts at one o'clock, which is in like half an hour. So instead of going and taking my washing home, I thought I'd go straight to the workshop. I haven't booked it or spoken to her, but I'm hoping I can just rock up and do it. So I'm just waiting for a tram to go there now. Hey. Here we are, LA. Looks kind of empty, but that's okay. course now it was so much fun and back at my hostel but I thought I'd show you where I'm staying because it's so cool basically it's designed like a gym so there's ropes that you can climb and over here there's like medicine balls and Muhammad Ali quote and then a horse and hammocks which are very cool and ladders on the ceiling so you can do like monkey bars and then this is the kind of room I'm staying in just with bunk beds people sleeping Hello everybody, it's now 8 o'clock in the evening and I'll stop walking. I have two problems. Problem number one is that I haven't eaten a proper meal today. So you'd think, well hurry up, just go out and buy a proper meal. But problem number two is that I only have about 12 euros left. And that's a problem because Rotterdam don't take visas anywhere and I don't think like, including like cash machines and I have no idea what I'm going to do. So I'm going to walk to a bank which isn't going to be open, but I'm going to find an ATM and see if I can find one that takes a visa. Otherwise, I'm going to go very hungry tonight. Um, should have prepared for this, but I didn't. The guy at the hostel gave me a map to the nearest ATM, and he said that they do take visa, so fingers crossed. <laughs> Good news, I found a cash machine that accepts visa, so crisis averted. I now need to go and find someone to have dinner, and I've been instructed by my mum that I have to have vegetables, so, shout out to mum, woohoo! <laughs> Vegetables! <laughs> this is a goat's cheese tart. And I've got soup coming as well, don't worry mum, veggies are on the way. Here's my soup, it's mushroom, and oh my god, if you could smell this, you would be in heaven. Unless you hate mushrooms, in which case you'd be in hell. But this smells so good. Mm. Got some bananas too, Mama. I live just past this thing here, this bar. And then this is my hostel. Yay! And then we've got this cool little kitchen. And look, how cute. And then the coolest part down here, where it says movies, there's like a little den with a Netflix account attached to it. It's so cool! I wish I had a friend with me. I was just texting my friend Phoebe being like, I wish you were here to come out with me because the nightlife looks so good. And there's like so many people out having fun and I just haven't made any friends and I'm alone now. <laughs> um, I think Rotterdam is by far my favourite place so far though, in terms of like atmosphere. But Bruges was also amazing, but I'm absolutely loving Rotterdam. Like, I just keep catching myself smiling. <laughs> and also, this hostel is insane, and the staff is so nice. Earlier, one of the guys was teaching me how to climb the ropes, like, up in our room. That's so funny. <laughs> and then there's a map here where everyone can put their little pins in where they're from. It's just so cool. Anyway, while everyone's out there having fun, I'm going to chill in my hammock. <sighs> and have a shower and go to bed, edit the vlog, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!